post-game stretch for the Arizona State Sun Devils as they defeat the Washington State Cougars 5-1 on Sunday afternoon in Tempe, Arizona. We knew we'd see some offense, some great players in this one, and Margie DeTrizio early on did not disappoint any of us as she goes bar down. That gave Washington State a one to nothing lead in the 22nd minute, but good team's answer, right? And that's exactly what the Sun Devils did. Suzuka Yoshi, the beginning of a big afternoon in Tempe in the 27th minute, and the first of two that tied the game at 1-1. I mentioned Yoshi. Well, there was a red card in the game. Keely Copper with the takedown in the box, red card. And so Yoshi had an opportunity to give the Sun Devils the lead in the 54th minute on the penalty kick, and that's exactly what she did. Sun Devils would not look back, neither would their offense. Emily Simpson, a beauty on a give and go from distance, able to beat Nadia Cooper. That made it 3-1 in the 63rd minute. ASU wasn't done. Their offense on track today. They kept coming. Gabby Rennie draped two defenders around Gabby, but she was able to get the shot off in the 79th minute. And then how about Ella Oquipna? Also in the 79th minute, through a screen. And that made it 5-1, and the Sun Devils all over. Margie Detrizio, just a terrific offensive player. Got her sixth of the season. I talked about Suzuka Yoshi, two goals on the afternoon in Arizona State. One of their best second halves of the entire season. Four second half goals as they busted it open against Washington State. Yeah, ASU, great balance offense and defense, but they shut down Washington State in the offensive third in the final 45 minutes of this one. So the Sun Devils win it at Sun Devil Soccer Stadium, 5-1 over the Washington State Cougars.